Think about Mary when she is visited by the angel and she's told you're going to be pregnant and she says, how can that be? And he says, the power of the, the Almighty will overshadow you. But she has to realize, okay, no one's going to believe that. And I'm in a very small village where everybody knows everybody, mm -hmm. and it's incredibly religiously conservative, and I'm going to be pregnant. Joseph, he has to assume that everyone will assume it's his child. And he has to know he's going to, this is going to be hard for him. People are going to assume there's something wrong with both of you, yes. right? Um, and there's a part of me that wonders if that's not why they're moving to Bethlehem, mm. right? It's, it's maybe taxation, probably a census, and typically no one had to move somewhere to be counted for a mm. census so that you could be taxed, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just speculating, but it seems to me they may be going to get away from what's happening in Nazareth, right? But they go there and they have this tough situation. They're going to be in a stable. That's most likely a cave. So think about being in a dank, cave, right? This is where Jesus is going to be born. He's going to be laid in a manger. Mangers there are made out of stone, mm. right? So it's a limestone manger. Just, I mean, that doesn't sound like a comfy place to put your child, mm. right? If we're going to talk about this being who delivered Israel again and again, who created the earth, mm. to be born by parents who are fleeing for shame, um, who can't find a place to live, to be born in a cave with animals around and put in a stone manger, that's condescension. That's condescension. Mm -hmm.